Hi everyone, welcome back. In today's video, we are diving into English grammar essentials of using be, being and been. These three forms of verb be can be tricky, but don't worry. I'll break it down for you with clear examples and explanations. Let's get started. First, let's talk about be. Be is the base form of the verb and it's incredibly versatile. Be is used in several ways. Number one, as an auxiliary verb. Be helps form continuous tenses. For example, in the present continuous, you say, I am working. In the past continuous, it's she was reading. And in the future continuous, you might say, they will be arriving soon. It also forms the passive voice. For example, the book is written by her. The cake was made by him. It is also used as a main verb. Be indicates existence or state of being. For instance, I am happy. She is a teacher. They are here. Be is also used in infinitive constructions. After modal verbs and other auxiliary verbs. For example, you must be careful. She will be here soon. It's also used to indicate purpose or intention. Like, he wants to be a doctor. And I am here to be with you. Next, we have being. Being is the present participle form of be. Being is also used to form continuous tenses. In the present continuous passive, we say the house is being cleaned or new policies are being introduced. It is also used as a gerund. It indicates a state or condition like being a teacher is rewarding and I enjoy being with my friends. It also comes after prepositions. For example, she is known for being kind. He is afraid of being alone. It is also used in the participle clauses. Being late, he missed the bus, gives a reason. Being a good student, she always does her homework, adds information. Finally, let's discuss been. Been is the past participle form of be. Forming perfect tenses. In the present perfect, we say, I have been to London or she has been busy. In the past perfect, it's he had been waiting for an hour and they had been friends for years. In the future perfect, you might say, by tomorrow, she will have been working here for a month. It is also used in passive voice. In the present perfect passive, it's the work has been done or the message has been sent. In the past perfect passive, you say the decision had been made before we arrived and the house had been sold. And there you have it. A quick overview of be, being and been. These forms are essential for expressing different aspects of time, continuity and passivity in English. Practice using them in sentences and you will become more confident in your grammar skills. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumb up, subscribe to Medical Professor and hit the bell icon for notifications on future videos. Leave your questions and comments below and I will happy to answer them. Thank you.